Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkBook 16, the Gen 6 model, the Intel version. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your Wi-Fi card. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have a total of nine screws. These four along this edge here, these screws actually come out. The rest of the screws, these three on top and these two in the middle, those screws are gonna stay in the bottom case even though they've been unscrewed from the, the threading. After that, I found it easiest to use my pry tool and start from the back and pry this edge up first and then work my way down the sides towards the front. I recommend a plastic pry tool because metal will tend to scratch this case a bit more. Go all the way around, and if you get stuck in one spot, just leave it to go to the other side and pry it up from this seam right here. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging the computer you're working on. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model, ThinkBook 16, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll take you to a list of all those replacement upgrade parts, as well as the tools and supplies you may need to work on this computer. Now, before touching anything in a computer, you want to at least unplug your battery first. It makes the computer safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right there. It's held in by five screws. You got these three on top, these two near the bottom corners. And after you remove those screws, it plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as with any cables in a computer, try to avoid pulling on the cables when at all possible. Manipulate just the plug if you can. So this one didn't have very large grips. You can try to use a pair of pliers to grab it, but you may have to grip those wires very, very securely. Try to get as much of your finger on, on the black plug as you can and gently, slowly wiggle that out to get that out. Okay, so now that the battery has been either removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. The Wi-Fi card is right up here above your RAM area. After removing this black shield, we'll have a little better view of it. It's in this port here. It's held down by a single screw. And then you have your antenna wire that, that snap onto it. These antenna wire guys, they're just snaps. They snap directly up and off of the Wi-Fi card and to snap them back down, they do have to be at an exact 90 degree angle for you to snap them back. Um, and if they're not at a 90 degree angle and you put too much force on it, you could damage them. So it may take a while if you're not used to it to get them exactly right and snap back on, but they are doable, you can do it. Uh, you would then undo this screw and then pull the Wi-Fi card to the left out of this port. That's how you would access your, your Wi-Fi card. So just as a last shout out for this type of repair, um, if you are having Wi-Fi issues in your computer, if you can't find any networks, your Wi-Fi card could be bad and it may need to be replaced, but the issue could also be something else. Uh, your Wi-Fi card may be okay. So above as well as below in the description, I'll have a video tutorial showing you how to troubleshoot Wi-Fi issues because you may not need to necessarily replace your Wi-Fi card but I hope this video was helpful. This is how you access your Wi-Fi card in a ThinkBook 16. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.